want to apply for research in USA but still confused what position how to make the email and are you even eligible for that position you will all find out in this video watch till the end hi guys my name is dr kavita i finished my residency in radiation oncology and after that i decided to come to usa so what was the best next step is giving usmle exam but i still did not want to go through the entire journey in india and just wanted to pave my way to usa and then you know kind of figure out what i want from there onwards because i was always interested in research welcome to my channel so uh when i was in residency i did get quite few opportunities in research but i realized that if i want to kind of be really confident in research i would have to apply as a researcher in usa but i did not know what all posts are there and that's when i started watching lots and lots of youtube video and kind of started stalking linkedin profile of people who were doing research jobs in usa and kind of fit their uh, qualification into mine and to see like am i eligible or not because the email that you put forward when attending to an pi which is like the principal investigator is so important so until unless you uh, kind of reach out in the first email with the right words uh, it can kind of make or break your you know research chances for that particular post so number 1 i will talk about what are uh, the research positions and as an mbbs or even as an md in your own country what positions can you apply for you know if eventually you want to apply for a uh, like residency or even if you want to continue in research altogether so a uh, number one position which is most common is clinical research fellow clinical research fellow is a position where you kind of uh, help in conducting the study writing the manuscripts a little bit of data analysis and data extraction but that position uh requires you to have either mbbs or uh even uh for people who are kind of pre med sometimes apply but those mostly are americans but if you have done mbbs so definitely you can apply as a clinical research fellow but if you add just one more degree and then you apply as a clinical research fellow so you would be called as a postdoc fellow which is my position because i have done an additional degree which is md in my case so if you have done md or even phd in your home country and you want to move your way towards usa so uh, that is one position that you should apply for now on my instagram i get so many queries of mbbs students who ask me like ma'am can we apply as a postdoc fellow so i just want to clear you know that doubt like if you have an mbbs you cannot apply for the postdoc position because postdoc itself means it's either post almost md and if you reach out to you know uh, the doctors with the wrong terminology uh, that goes against your application so like you know be aware like what words you are using so another position is called as clinical research associate which is similar uh, uh, to a research fellow but has some additional roles where they also look out for how trials are conducted and have a more of clinical role and both mbbs and phd or md candidates can apply for that now there is one common position which people do hear and it it has like kind of many positions but sometimes uh like who are imgs don't know about these position and don't know the relevance of that position and it is called as study coordinator or a uh, clinical study coordinator so again mbbs students like who have done uh, mbbs can apply for that like i've seen people in a uh, us who are like the citizens sometimes even the pre med students apply for these positions so in this role 
what you are responsible is a uh, like kind of maintaining communication with IRB and maintaining uh like how a trial is run and seeing if uh, a protocol is followed or not so your main role is when the study is started so kind of maintaining a communication between the physician the patient and if there is a third party let's say uh like a pharmaceutical company uh, who is sponsoring a trial so kind of maintaining communication between all these three parties now it might not sound very relevant for someone who has done mbbs or who is applying for residency but but what it does it uh, gives you a lot of exposure how trials are conducted and what physicians are doing and since you are in really close contact with physicians so uh, you make really good contact if you are working well so uh, many people who are sometimes apply for this position also and it can get really confusing uh, to use these terminology so i would uh, really encourage you to kind of start researching about these positions and if there are any so either apply there or just directly reach out to you know a uh, principal investigators now in the second part of video i will tell you how to uh, reach out to uh, these doctors because sometimes these uh, positions are not even uh, you know posted anywhere they are just space in the department and if somebody kind of reaches out to them or somebody knows somebody so they just recruit that person so you would have to be kind of very smart in reaching out to people and if your application and if your experience aligns with what they require so they will surely offer you an interview for that position uh so here are few of the ways that you can reach out to uh these doctors is either through linkedin or directly through email or even uh from the hospital website so what i used to do is just kind of open a hospital website and open my department and then see what kind of doctors are kind of working there or running the trials who are actually conducting the trial because somebody who is not very active in conducting trials won't have uh, the power to recruit someone especially someone who would be needing a visa uh so that changes a lot of things so you should apply for like you should reach out to at least like the top 2 or 3 doctors who according to your judgment seem like the senior most people who can make a decision for your rec- recruitment and even if you don't understand that just reach out to physicians who are in a part of you know a uh, research uh, which is visible on the hospital website sometimes you do find the emails on the hosp- hospital website or you have to search google or even some of the papers that they might have published sometimes those also have the emails written on them okay and uh, the second thing that really help me as well and can help you is uh reaching out through linkedin so what i used to do is randomly kind of reach out to people who were doing fellowship in usa and make lots and lots of connection on linkedin and uh, make my linkedin file such that everybody knows that i am open to work in usa and what is my experience and then reach out to people in my field to ask if they had any sort of advice uh, you know for me who was looking for a research position sometimes people would reply sometimes would not sometimes time they would just give me one advice which which would be a uh, really helpful but after making a certain number of connection you start reaching out uh, to the doctors to the senior doctors who are conducting research or who might be head of their departments and who make this decision and just you know not in very like you know big message but in a very short concise message you show them that you are interested in research and uh, would be really um, kind of obliged if they can kind of share their email and you can you know uh, uh, share your cv or letter of interest with them because that is what i did uh, there are few other things that you should keep in mind while you know reaching out in email because your email matters a lot the first form of communication uh, makes the first impression and that should be like really a strong one 
if you want to get the position i do provide one to one counseling for same and also i have this research video guide which you can see and take points from before you start applying for research for more details just um like find my channel on instagram it is by the same name dr k dot md and you can just directly dm me or check on the pinned post uh more details about the research and uh, uh please tell me in comments if you found this video uh useful because that would encourage me to make more such content and until next time take care and good luck in your journey bye bye